can't believe we're up before 5 a.m. to go to the Sandblast Islands. Woot, woot, woot. We're going to Sandblast Islands. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. In this video, we're going to see how the Sandblast Islands are and if they're worth going. They're pretty expensive, but I think they're going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. I'm excited. So in this video, I'm going to give you the pros and cons of visiting the San Blas Islands, Panama. A breakdown of cost, amenities, how we booked it, what to expect, and an overall guide of a few of the San Blas Islands you might want to visit. We booked our visit to the San Blas Islands through a tour company online. They pick you up from your hotel in Panama City early in the morning, take you shopping. What is that? Oh, it's one of those... and we were off. I tried to life hack and save money by booking everything myself and cutting out the middleman, but it's impossible. The cheapest and easiest way to do it is booking it through a tour company. Oh, and apparently Panama City is the only place in the world where the sun rises in the west. This was our sunrise looking out towards the Pacific Ocean in Panama City. If anyone can tell me why or how that works, please tell me in the comment section below because it still seems kind of strange why it looked like that. Anyways, it only took us 4 hours to get from Panama City to San Blas Islands. The last hour on the roads are pretty rough, but it's still drivable. If you do it yourself, it'll probably take you an additional hour, so just take your time and enjoy the views. Now let's get to the San Blas Islands. Welcome to Chichime Island. We walked around maybe halfway through this island. It's so gorgeous. I can't wait to explore the rest of it. Let's see what this San Blas Islands are all about. I hope I'm saying this right, but we were staying on Chichime Island. I highly, highly recommend staying on this island. It seemed to be so much larger than a lot of the other islands you can stay on. And although they're all super photogenic, I just loved how much space we seemed to have to roam around if we wanted to. <laughs> all right, so we're waiting for lunch. You have ate all day, so you're hungry. I am so hungry, like lunch time, lunch time. I'm so <laughs> weak to complain. <laughs> Lunch time, lunch. A traditional Guna people lunch. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. And it's gonna be fresh. Cause whatever their catch is, that's what a lunch is. So if they had like lobster, that would be really yummy. <laughs> You're hoping for lobster, huh? But if they have crabs, I'm fine. I take it, I take it. If they have shrimpies and, and prawns, I'd be like, ooh, I take probably fish. Or pollo? How do they say it? chicken i'm not sure but yeah let's find out what we got the food is actually decent super fresh but it's not very fulfilling if you're on a diet you'll do good here that could be my pet <laughs> <laughs> that could be my pet all right so it's just about one o'clock we're gonna see what these tours are all about they do like one tour a day they just randomly pick where they want to go that day and we're going to see where we're going to go. Let's do it. All right, 
right, so our first stop is here at Waisai Land. Uh, we got 20 minutes here. It looks like where people go camping if they want to camp in Sunblast Islands. And yeah, this is Waisai Land. So our first stop is Weiss Island because they had a deal. The people at Weiss Island and the people at Chichimene Island had a deal that they're gonna tour their their people to our island and <laughs> in return we tour we tour here and that's it. Nothing special, it's the same thing. <laughs> is that even true? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they had a handshake deal. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but it, it might be. <laughs> well, you trust this guy. <laughs> so that was the island on our first stop. Wasn't much, but look at the view. Absolutely stunning. Next, we boated out to the natural pool. If you don't know yet, the Sandblast Islands are basically a huge sandbar. So here's your opportunity to mingle with other people from the other islands and feel like you're swimming out in the middle of the ocean. It was honestly a lot of fun. Just watch out for jellyfish. So how do you like the tour? So far so good. Uh, we're on Shipwrecked Island. Uh, it's very populated, tons of people here, and yeah, how about you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do love the beach, I love the island. The tour is not very interesting, <laughs> but I take it, I take it. <laughs> not complaining. The final stop on our tour was Shipwreck Island. This is the famous island with the sunken ship. The first thing I noticed was this place was very crowded and the island was super small. Just like the previous island we visited, you could easily walk around the entire island in about 10 minutes. Which maybe you wouldn't consider a disadvantage, but there's definitely a lot of day tours that run through here, so I wouldn't recommend staying on this island. And I definitely wouldn't recommend using their rental equipment either. They were so old and used, but lucky enough someone let me use their snorkeling equipment and GoPro. It was my first time using a GoPro, so it isn't the best footage, but here's the famous sunken ship. So back on Chichimi Island, this is sort of what you should expect to get for dinner. Again, not very fulfilling, but super fresh. All right, let's go check out our private hut. This is what $200 per person gets you. The sandy floor, the main bed, you can get three people in here if you want to bring a friend or your mother or whoever you want. <laughs> <laughs> and little table, no electricity, but the best part of all this is right behind you. We end up only staying for one night and probably paying around $200 per person. So it isn't cheap. There is a big discount if you stay longer, but I think I'm actually okay with only having stayed the one night. Two nights might have been perfect amount of time, but with the lack of amenities, I could easily imagine limited water and showers in the summer. So anything longer would be kind of rough, especially for what you're paying. One last thing I should share with you, we were visiting in November and it seemed like nobody was there. It was the off season, but I'm pretty sure we were the only ones staying in a private cabin, which was shocking, but good to know if you want to avoid the crowds. If others have visited the San Blas Island, Chichimi Island in particular, I'd be curious to know when, where, and how busy it is during the summer. Where is it? Right here, he's gonna move because you're... Scary. Oh, I see him. Come on, Krabby. Catch it. You should catch it. All right. 
everybody. If you catch it from the top and then hold it from the back, it might not bite you. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, and then when Babe, don't sit on the floor, on the bed. Why? Oh. Where'd it go? It's done. So thanks for watching. Any comments, questions, leave it in the comment section below. Like the video. And until later, I'll see you later.